Rare books are called rare for a reason. It's not easy to find them randomly in a barn or a state cell or something like that. In fact, you hear about that because it's so unusual. Really, it's the dedicated rare book sellers, used book dealers, antiquarian dealers. Those are the people uh, who you should be hounding if you're looking for a rare book. One wants to distinguish between rare books and antiquarian books. A rare book isn't necessarily an old book, and an old book isn't necessarily a rare book. You can have a book from the 18th century, and it may be worth $20, whereas you can have a book published just a few years ago, and it can be worth tens of thousands or even more. A rare book is a book that is scarce, desirable, and has had an impact in the world. Scarcity is rather obvious. A few copies survive. If there are many copies out there, it's not necessarily rare. It had an impact. It was important when it came out, a landmark in some way. And then the sort of desirability comes with a continuing influence. These are the books that changed the world when they came out and continue to have an influence today. The main factors you should consider when buying a rare book are first edition, you are looking for the very first copy printed, the first edition, first printing, that type of thing. That is when the book first made an impact on the world. And it has, in most cases, the greatest historical significance. It's a historical artifact from that time. So beyond edition, you're also looking at condition. The most pristine copies that you can find, ones that have remained in the state as close as possible to when they were first presented. And last, you're looking for completeness, which is to say, if you have a copy of Lewis and Clark's expedition, the journals from their expedition, it, if it's complete with the map based on Clark's own cartography, that's a huge part of the value for a rare book. The first editions are sought after mostly because they have the most historic significance. There are exceptions, but for the most part, the reason collectors seek that first edition is because they're looking for that moment of impact. When a book is first having an effect on the world, when readers are first experiencing it and starting to change their thoughts based on what they're reading. Rare books, in terms of investing, they tend to be quite a bit less volatile than other uh, types of investing. They are conservative, slow, steady over time. Generally, the perennial is something like Shakespeare, not going to go out of style. If you are collecting because you love it, you keep it for 10, 20 years, they tend to be a pretty uh, smart investment. Uh, it can be case by case, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about the volatility you see because most people come to this for a love rather than looking to make a quick buck with a turnaround in three years. One thing a collector should always keep in mind when buying a rare book is that they are taking part in a grand tradition of preserving history. And that's a certain privilege, but it's also a certain responsibility. You are the one who is shepherding this book to the next generation. 